Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up a Makeup chat. I'm a little not feeling that great today. <laughs> uh, last night, I took some cold medicine, and that, like, this was like maybe 2 30 in the morning. I think it's still, like, working. So my face doesn't feel as bad as it did. But, like, I've got that, like, I'm cold and then I'm hot and then I'm cold and then I'm hot. Like right now I'm hot, but a minute ago I was cold. So I'm still gonna hang out anyway though because I would miss you if we didn't hang out today because I like hanging out with you. It's fun. Um, I have my mic on way down there, um, but for the past few chats, oh, my voice is cracking. For the past few chats, uh, the microphone hasn't worked. So I did something a little bit different and I'm hoping it works because there's no way for me to tell if it's working until I watch something on the replay. And honestly, I was gonna test it this week and I just, I was, my, both my kids are sick. Like my daughter is coming out of it. Like she hasn't had a fever for 24 hours, but she still has a cough. And my son's like deep in the middle of it right now. So, uh, but anyway, I wanted to chat anyway. And I wanted to say hi to the collective brain. But before we do, I do want to do my disclaimer because every time I don't do the disclaimer, I have people in the comments saying, I really don't like live chat. And I'm really sorry if you don't like live chat. This is the thing. I can only edit so many videos in a week. My videos are very labor intensive. Like every word you see on the screen, every picture that comes in, every cut, every fade, all of that takes time. So my videos take a long time to produce and I'm at like max speed right now on video production. So a way that I can get you extra content is through live streams. Um, basically if a live stream is happening, it's because other content can't be happening. And I've been doing live chat for like four years and I love live chat. I love talking to the community and I love sharing extra fun stuff with you. And I do have some fun stuff that I brought um, over on the table with me today to share with you that I got in PR. So, um, you know, I figured we just kind of chat and hang out today and um, be sick because you can't catch what I've got from where you're at. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say hello to the people that are here. Sorry, I'm like itching my eye. Like my eyes are so itchy. It's like, ugh. okay, let me say hello to the people that got here first. Scroll all the way up. Teresa M. O. in the house. Saucer Jess is here. Teresa, thank you for being here. And Jess, thank you for being here. Liz is here. Thank you so much for the well wishes. Latina and Julio down by the schoolyard are here. Yay. Denise is here. Georgia Kate here. Sydney and Amber, I'm like calling the role in school all of a sudden. Steph is here and Nadine and AJ. Oh, thank you guys so much for being here. Rebecca and Amanda and Michelle the Fabulous. Consuelo, Julie, LR, and Georgia Harris in the house. Everybody else that I didn't say hello to, hello to you. Welcome to live chat. I'm so thankful that you're not actually here because I don't want to get you sick. So... Um, you know, I've got people kind of freaking out in chat because the people that are here in chat are the people that like live chat, so they're like freaking out. Some people just don't like me going back and forth and talking to the community. It's kind of scattered. People like a, some people really like a linear format and live chat is not linear. It's like me popping off all over the place, but I like live chat and I've heard a lot of people really enjoy listening to this kind of like a podcast. So that's kind of cool. I really like that a lot. So let's go ahead and start off with a brand that I've been kind of sitting on for a little while that I want to I wanna talk to you about a little bit, but I haven't fully, this is my voice, I haven't fully tried these yet. I kept them in here because the boxes were like super cumbersome. They were like, you know, everything was in their own little boxes. So I put things in here. I know that doesn't look super cool, but I had to learn. I have learned since I talked about that I got these, I've learned a lot about China and Hong Kong and that there is a huge difference between regular, like I guess it's called mainland China and Hong Kong. These were made in Hong Kong uh, and this is called Popstar Cosmetics. They have these liquid lipsticks. Um, the big thing about the liquid lipsticks so far is that they are really, really, really bright and bold shades, which is not my personal taste. So I'm, I haven't tested them as much as I've wanted to. I need to just one day when I'm home, just put one of these crazy colors on and just enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got all these shades here um, 
the nudey ones, the pinky ones. Well, they're not even nude because nobody's this color, but the pink ones are probably the closest to my color. They're not even nudes. I don't know why I'm calling them nudes. Um, Eunice and Utah are probably the closest ones. Let me swatch them for you. But this is an indie brand. I mean, their, their packaging is really pretty. And I do believe that they are cruelty free, which is super cool. Let me swatch these for you. Of course, things are dropping. But this might be good for people that really like bold colors. Some of these other ones. Let me show you. But I realize, you know, it's so funny because there's so much to learn out there in this world. And you can't possibly know everything in this world. And that was my ignorance, you know, with, you know, mainland China and Hong Kong and trying to learn the differences between them. It's, it's a big difference. Um, okay, so the first one is Utah and the second one is Eunice. Utah is a little bit more, um, Eunice is a little more mauve I guess you could say, where this one is a little bit more bright. They have, where are these soul, um, e Pure Soul wants to know, they have a website. I believe it's popstarcosmetics.com. Let me go and make sure that it's there before I say that. Pop Star Cosmetics. Um, Pop Star Cosmetics, yep, popstarcosmetics.com. They have the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are, they're $18 each. Uh, and they have all of the shades there. Let me swatch some of the um, brighter ones for those of you that really like these. Like this one is called Echo. This one is a bright, bright red. I'll let you know in a minute whether they dry down. That's Aco. And then let's do one of these other ones. This one is like a corally pink. This one is called Kazumi. But these shades are so, so, so bright. I do want to do a full review on them though. I would really like to. I'm hoping that I can squeeze them in and do lip swatches and stuff. They also have uh, these right here. Stuff's just rolling everywhere. <laughs> I don't even care right now. Um, this is called Mesmerize. And let me find the description on these real quick for you. These are really, really pretty. I did wear these on my eyes a couple of times and they're really beautiful. They're, um, hold on a second. The Mesmerize Mousse Eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Hypnotize. They remind me a lot of the Stila's, but not quite as glittery. They're not quite as chunky as the Stila's. Uh, Mesmerized Mousse Eyeshadows, and these are $19 as well. They have um, four different shades of these. I used the shade, I believe, and Trap on my eyes before, but this Hypnotize one is gorgeous. I would think in the tube that it would be a little darker, but it's like this beautiful, like deeper champagne. And I just put this all over my lid and it was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, here we go. Here's two more shades. So this is Entrap and Bewitch. So this is Entrap. And they're just, they're really pretty if you want an alternative, something different to those, um, those Stila shadows. But again, they're, they're different in that the Stila ones I feel like are a little, a little more glittery. So those are those two right there. The, they're the grayer one is Bewitch and the like golder one is called Entrap. But yeah, they're really, really pretty. So yeah, those are some highlights. Uh, they also have, I haven't used this at all. This is called the Star Oil. It's a makeup remover. I haven't used that at all. It's a spray and you spray it on your face and it um, helps you to remove your makeup, which I think is pretty cool. Cause I always get a lot of, um, whenever I remove makeup or put on skincare or anything, in uh on like live people are like jen why are you rubbing your face so much but i would imagine like you know spraying something like that on well i guess you still have to rub it to get it off but i don't know what i'm thinking i'm sick i blame it on being sick all right i've got a big mess on my floor now because everything rolled off <laughs> i'll pick them up in a minute all right because i can't spend my whole chat time just picking things up i'm gonna go over to the chat and see what people are saying um how's the lasting power on the shadows good really good um they dry down like hard they dry down hard like right now they're still drying down let me show you the the matte liquid lipstick see this one's been on my hand for a while actually i'm just going to put suck it up and put one on and that way i can give you more information i'm not going to put on a crazy one though i'm just going to grab is my mic working by the way mine 420 love beauty wants to know if my beanie's from fat fit fun yes it is and i love this beanie 
Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. I don't have a mirror. I'm so not prepared. I'm sorry, guys. Um, do I have any kind of mirror in this other box? Did they give me any kind of mirror? No, none of these products have a mirror. I'm going to have to get up and get a mirror. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm such a mess. Okay, hopefully the mic is working. Oh, good. Yay. I fixed the problem. Okay, so let me put this on and we'll talk about dry down and everything, even though it's going to look really weird. The doe foot's a typical doe foot. I saw toothpaste right there. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Okay, right now it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel sticky in any way. But we'll see what happens, because I forget. It's been a minute since I tried one of these. I do want to give you a full review of these, because these, I mean, these first impression reviews are kind of junk, but I don't know. It's kind of pretty. This one is the one that's um, called Utah. I think this would be really pretty in the spring with like a, um, like almost like a, I don't know, like a, like a nude eye because it's kind of a, you know, more calm kind of shade. <laughs> what am I talking about? Why did I even come on chat? I'm going to sound like an idiot the whole time. It's all good though. So right now, see my lips are not sticking together. Look at that, bam, bam, it's looking good. It's looking good. It doesn't feel, it feels, it feels dry, but it doesn't feel like crackly dry yet. We're gonna give it some time though. Now, as far as these eyeshadows, oh, that's smearing. I thought I remember them drying down really well, but that one I put on more recently. But this one is not, like I'm rubbing it, a little bit's coming off of my finger, but not too much. But I remember them drying down really well on the eyes. I'm going to end up with this crazy look. All right, let's do this. Let's just do, no, you know what? I'm not going to waste my eyes. I have it on my hand because I've got other stuff to show you too. I was going to say, we'll just do like some crazy makeup look that like doesn't even make any sense just to try this stuff out. Amy says if it's a virus, it won't live long outside the body. Well, that's good. Cynthia said, looks like the pick, uh, the... Wait, looks like the are picking up on the colors of Utah's National Parks in Zion. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. We went to Zion two years ago. We're going to go this summer again, I think. We're going to try at least. I've got a mix of coffee and water over here. All right. Um, so, other things I've gotten for PR. Um, this right here. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I think it's like in my head, I think Britney Spears knows who I am, even though I know that she doesn't know who I am. I used to be a huge Britney Spears fan and this showed up. My, the Britney Spears PR team sent this to me and I was like, what? Like somehow having some random connection to Britney Spears. Like I don't fangirl that often, but like the fact that her PR team found me, I thought was super, super cool. This is her new fragrance. It is called Summer Fantasy. I have, I think the, I think I have one or two of her other ones um, in my perfume collection. I try not to buy full size perfumes because I have a ton, 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 ton of Sempered vials. Uh, so I don't need perfume really. But this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Um, Gina says Zion is from the Bible. Yes, it is. That is very true. Um, so this is very sugary sweet, very sugary sweet. If you like that, if you like really sugary sweet scent, I think you'll really like it. If you like something that's a little more like, if you, you, if you think that sugary sweet scents are immature, you don't want to buy this. Um, but I've been wearing this a lot. Um, it's just, it's just very fun and playful and feminine and I would say it's more it's very very sweet it almost reminds me of like a bath and body works kind of like spray you know what I mean like it's very 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 sweet so if you like that you might want to look into that because I I personally sometimes I'm in the mood for that sometimes I'm in the mood for you know something a little bit more mature you know as far as the scent goes but um but yeah I really like this a lot I'm excited about it. I don't know. I'm, I'm fangirling a little bit. All right. Go back to the water. Um, I didn't get, I haven't gotten a whole ton of PR lately. So, but I figured I would show you stuff. Elise says that bottle is huge. I know. I know it's huge. I'm never going to go through this whole thing. I don't think to share it with Lila when she turns 13. 
<laughs> um, Ashley wants to know if my husband likes the smell of me. Yeah, he does. He definitely does. He likes sweeter scents anyway, though. Um, AJ, it's like a lifetime supply of perfume. I know, right? Well, I've been using it quite a bit. Um, I got it, what, two weeks ago? I've been using it quite a bit, and I'm like... You know, I'm make, making a little dent in it. So I'm really, really excited about this because you guys know uh, I did that video with collab makeup. Not with collab makeup, but I did. Um, I bought a bunch of makeup from the uh, collab brand, which was, uh, it sold at Sally Beauty, and it's drugstore priced. It was made in collaboration with a bunch of influencers, and I was really excited for it. So I bought some things that Coffee Break with Danny had uh, request, uh, requested, had um, recommended. Sorry, guys, I'm losing it. <laughs> Coffee Break with Danny had recommended uh, different things. She's no longer with the program she announced in a video that she's no longer working with Collab. I wonder what happened. I don't even know. Um, but uh, but I, I tried a bunch of things, and I liked everything. There were certain things I liked better than others. Um, you can just type in, in YouTube search, Jen Loves Reviews collab and you'll find it um but there was only the mascara i didn't i don't i don't use the mascara anymore because it's really hard to take off and that bothers me so um you know i don't use that anymore but everything else i really liked especially the lipsticks the lipsticks were like stand out awesome so collab sent me a pr box which i was super excited and thankful to see little cards coming out and it shows all their cute little faces so it's got like lizzie from what would lizzie do and um samage and uh who else is in here uh alicia from x sparkage i mean these are people that i've been watching for years um ogs oh, of YouTube. There's some other people that I wasn't familiar with before this. But um but yeah, so there's like the prices and everything on the back of the card. I feel like this is this is what I wish that all brands would send with PR is kind of a breakdown of the products with all of the names and the prices because that's really really valuable because I usually have to look all that stuff up, which is super nice. Oh, Tiffany Dawn is here. Check out Tiffany Dawn's YouTube channel. She's awesome. Welcome Tiffany Dawn. Um <sighs> Okay, so, oh, Brianna Grimm is here. She says, yay, I finally caught you live. Yay, happy to have you here. Uh, Mod420 Love Beauty says, Danny, I believe, talked about why. Did she talk about why she left? I thought she just said she left. I don't know. I didn't, I don't think I watched the whole video. Um, collab is sold at Sally Beauty, AJ. Uh, so these, I don't know if this is from, like, it doesn't say whether this is part of, like, a new, like, their spring, because I know they're supposed to be coming out with another, like, launch of stuff, so I don't know if this is part of their first launch or if this is a second launch, but I would love to do a full video on this as well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this is the Soft Spot Sheer Blush, and it's called Just For Fun is the shade here. Um, this is made by Sally Beauty, so that's the only place you can get it. I bought my stuff when I bought it was at Sally Beauty uh, online because my Sally Beauty isn't super close. I love that they have the, um, the little sticker on the outside. But I was really surprised because like, I tried the Sally Girl stuff and I was not impressed with the Sally Girl stuff. My stomach's starting to... Because I think it's because of the talking. I think it's messing me up. Okay, um... Wait, we need to block this burnt. Mm, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't even know. Hide user on this channel. There you go. Okay. I got the creeper. Okay. Uh, so anyway, this is the blush. And I'm just going to do a little. This looks like this was meant for somebody, my skin tone or lighter. It's very, very light. A little bit. <laughs> I don't have any brushes. I'm just going to. Put it on old school style. I used to put on my blush like this. Hey, if it works and you don't have any brushes because you're eating off ramen noodles. That's the way I always put on my blush when I was in college. Doesn't look that bad, does it? It's very light though, but it's pretty. Very pretty, but we're going to do a full, hopefully do a full review. I don't like to promise anything because things, things change and all that. Um, Rockin' Robin says drink some peppermint tea. I should. I don't think I have any peppermint tea. I'd have to make my husband go get it. Oh, Aspen says I can go if I'm feeling sick. It's okay. I'm going to push through. I'm going to be all right. We got 36 minutes. I'll be all right. Well, no, 40, 41 minutes. We'll be all right. I'll be okay. I'll make it. I'm tough. I got this. I went to work. Like when I was waiting tables, I'd go to work like with really bad colds and stuff. Like I wouldn't go to work like sick, sick. But if I could functionally function... 
I would go to work. Like, I was never one to, like, stay home. And I would just try to stay away from people as best as possible. Mostly because I, I needed the money. <laughs> All right. This is a multitasking face brush, which I would imagine this would be good. Let's see. What does it say it's for? It says it's for bronzer, blush, highlighter, and finishing powder. I probably would, I would not use this for finishing powder. It's too small for finishing powder for me personally, but you can use it for, um, yeah, I could, it's domed. It's got a really nice dome to it. It's very soft. It's very, uh, not super dense. I was gonna say it's very dense, but it's not very dense. It's a little dense. It's denser than some of the blush brushes I have, but it's really soft. What's the price on this thing? This is $11.99. That's not bad. For a face brush like this, that's not bad at all. I like that. I should have used that with the blush. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. <sighs> okay. We got this. We got this. I'll put the packaging over there. Okay. Next up, I got another lipstick, which I'm really excited about. This is still pretty comfortable. It looks like it's crackling a little bit. Like it's not real super smooth looking. I don't know if you could see that, but... It's, it's, um, it's still pretty comfortable though. Like it doesn't feel like my lips are just, you know, the Saharan. Okay. This is called Yes Ma'am. Yeah. Their lipsticks do not have a scent. Let's see if I can, I'm just going to put it here. That is really pretty. That's really pretty. This must be one. They have two different finishes. There's a matte finish and then there's, I believe they call it a satin finish. I think this is one of the satin finish ones. Monique says your hands are the cheapest brushes. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? But that's a really pretty shade. It's a little more peachy. Um, Susan says, don't forget the, that forgo the power of the hot toddy. I don't even know if I have ingredients for a hot toddy. I've heard good things about hot toddies though. All right, now we've got liquid lipstick from Collab. This is in the shade Blood Rush. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, the liquid lipstick is... Six, they have 16 shades, eight matte finish, eight satin finish. They're $10.99. That the matte is full coverage and the satin is buildable coverage. Let's put these next to the pop, was it pop, pop star cosmetics. Put it next to that over top of the blush swatch. I'm actually very surprised at how comfortable this uh, pop star cosmetics is. I mean, it's not, it's similar to like dose of colors level of comfort um, where it's dry down. So it's, I can feel that it's dry on my lips, but it's not like sucking the life out of my lips and my lips don't feel like they're crackling, but I would need a full wear test to fully recommend it to you. So there's the collab down there. It's really pretty. But I really do feel like they put a lot of heart into this line. I mean, I think that they needed to. I think that, you know, Sally Beauty is not known for their high quality makeup coming from their brand. So I think that they're like, really putting their love into it, trying to get the stuff to be really awesome, which I think is great. Yeah, these eyeshadows are dried down now. These pop star ones are dried down. I remember them drying down pretty fast on the eyes though. A uh, little bit of glitter coming off of my finger there. Area Susan says, hot toddy, comfy blanket, Netflix, couch, heaven. I have a video that needs to go up tomorrow. <laughs> it's mostly edited though, so hopefully I can finish that without too much trouble. Okay, this is called Collab. Oh wait, duh. Did I really just say that? Really? Really, Jen? <laughs> um, Monica says, honestly, I've only ever heard of Sally Beauty for like hair products. I had no idea they were doing makeup too. Yeah, they, they've been doing makeup for a while, um, but they did, had that Sally Girl brand and it was not good. It was not good. Okay, Glitter and Go Lip pigment a lip pigment really Ooh, what in the world i was not expecting that okay so mesmerizing sparkling lip pigment powder to wear alone with your favorite collab lip color what no way dude okay that is really messy though i am not a fan of this packaging Okay, let's put my, try to put my, see, I'm trying to put my whole finger over the top. I wish that they had made the opening smaller. The opening should be smaller because some people, their finger may not go all the way over. And like my finger is barely reaching the edges and I'm scared that the, that it's going to slip out. Like how is this supposed to be functionally supposed to come out, you know? Mm. 
Gigi's trying to, everybody's talking about the tart drama. I want to try to stay away from the tart drama today. I talked about it so much on Twitter yesterday. If you want to know anything about how I'm feeling about the tart drama, go look and see all my stuff I posted yesterday on the Twitters. That's where it goes down is the Twitter, man. You're not on Twitter. It's like the hidden. I'm going to put this on over top and I'm going to put this lip pigment stuff on top of it. It's like the hidden social media. It's seriously like the best place to connect with people because there aren't that many people on it. All right. That's really super hydrating. My lips feel like all gunky now <laughs> too much. All right. Uh, Robin wants to know what a Q-tip work for that. Maybe. I don't know. My Q-tips are kind of far away. Let's try to put this on. Whoa, that's pretty. But see, now I feel like I got to get some more. Like this packaging is no good. <laughs> Aspen says Jen is awesome on Twitter. Seriously, everyone should follow. It's like Jen unfiltered on Twitter. I started putting on Twitter um, unlisted videos, like bloopers and stuff. That's really pretty. And it's, um, it's not super chunky glitter. Can you guys see that? Oh, Gina says, what tart drama? Girl, girl, so much tart drama with the uh, Shape Tape Foundation. So much going on, lots and lots. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me get a little closer because it looks like it's definitely not representing true to color on screen. On screen, this is so much deeper than what you're seeing. I mean, in real life, it's so much deeper than what you're seeing. It looks really, really, really weird on camera. It is like a completely different color to me than on the camera. I need to get a different camera because the color is like, it looks like dirt. Like what you're seeing looks like absolute dirt. It doesn't look like that at all for me. Like the, the color representation is way off. I, that is just, that's convinced me. I need to get a new webcam because you are not, you're seeing like peach. This is not peach. This is like a, like a berry color. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that makes me no happy. No happy, Jen, not happy. Makes me not happy, not no happy. Can I even speak? All right, where is my, I gotta wipe this off because this doesn't, it looks like dirt to you. It doesn't look like that to me. It looks so much better in real life than it does on the camera. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna unplug my microphone real quick and go get something to wipe this off because this looks ridiculous to you. All right, sorry if it's loud for a second. I'm gonna set the microphone down. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, this is so gross looking. Hopefully that's better. It looks like a berry to Lorraine. Well, maybe it's just, um, maybe it's just the way that it looks on my, my replay. I don't know, but it looked really weird. Yes, I have Falcor on my back. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, my Falcor is so old. It was the first big tattoo my husband did on me. I have Falcor on my back and then I've got, this is the owl from the never ending story, not never ending story. This is never ending story. This is the owl from Labyrinth. You know, in the beginning of the movie, how it's got the big owl that flies through. This is the owl. We got it off the box from, um, from, uh, what you call it? Um, from the movie, like from the DVD box or whatever, the owl and then Falcor. They're really old though. They're like all faded and everything because they're, they're really old and I didn't take good care of them. Like all the color is completely out of the owl. These things used to be gorgeous. They used to be so gorgeous and I didn't take good care of them. So I've got lots of tattoos that are all over my back. <laughs> Falcor is from a movie called The Never Ending Story. You have to, you have to Google it. I can't explain the whole never ending story. <laughs> Because it's just, it's a lot to explain, but it's so good. It's so good. It was a movie I watched when I was a kid. Uh, so anyway, because I, I love stories. <laughs> Susan said, Jan, your cool quotient just went up. <laughs> Thanks. I know people look at this and like, if you've never seen The Never Ending Story and you see this tattoo, it's like, what even is that? It's like a dog, but it's like not a dog. And there's a kid on its back. Like, what even is that? Uh, can you not says, how are you sick? I don't, uh, well, I have two kids that are sick. So, you know, 
Um, anyway, so we've got eyeshadow palette. I want to get a dark crystal tattoo. That's part of my plan. I wanted to get um, Kira from the dark crystal tattooed somewhere, some kind of Kira tattoo. Um, I also wanted to get the little worm from Labyrinth. I said hello. So he is a luck dragon, Vicky. That's true. All right, let's watch this one. Watch this one. Tracy says we're having coffee together. Yes, and we're sick together. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you weren't sick with me. My fingers just dug into that. Look how pretty that is. This seriously, like. I have the purple one. I think I might like, I think I'm going to like this one better than the purple one that I bought. The purple one that I bought was good, but it wasn't great. Look how pretty that is in the swatches. We're definitely going to have to. Um, I'm just wiping it on my sweatpants. <laughs> oh, by some Nordic says, I love dark crystal. I got the worm, the worm on a T. Oh, cool. All right. Let me see. Hold on a minute. What did I just swatch? I don't even remember. One, two. What did I just swatch? I don't even know. What did I just do? Oh, okay. I think I swatched the first four. So let's do the second four. I did them in like the quads. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Well, that one's kind of weak, that last one's, but look at this one. So pretty. Erin says you've totally inspired an entire sleeve for me. <laughs> that one is gorgeous. This one's beautiful, this one's weak. That last one, that cream shade, at least in the swatch, on the eye it may be different. Again, these are not full reviews. I don't know, maybe it just matches my skin tone. Lou says, arriving late, hi from Japan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Shauna's just getting here too. What's up, Shauna? Susan wants to know what release I'm most looking forward to coming up. Honestly, like I was really looking forward to the Shape Tape Foundation. I was. I was. My stomach just started turning a little bit. Oh my gosh. Come on, Jen. No more coffee. Drink water. I'm glad that medicine I took is still working because my nose felt like it was going to fall off last night. All right. Stella says, oh my God, an eyeshadow swatch sleeve, mind blown. There you go. That'd be fun. No, I don't know. But like, that'd be interesting to do like an eyeshadow swatch sleeve, but it wouldn't like be metallic or anything like this. That'd be interesting. Joanne says, any thoughts on the star palette by Natasha Denona? Not really. Natasha Denona, I feel like she still makes things for makeup artists mostly. At least it feels like that, kind of like Viseart. And like the way that the setup is, sometimes I feel like is not like my preference where I, I like having like the complete palette thing where I can just grab one palette and use it. That's just me. Lavender Rose says, Jen, what about Princess Bride? I love that movie, especially as a kid. As you wish. As he's rolling down the hill. Yeah, at the, okay, so... This is a highlighter. It's called Pearlosity. And let me tell you about the Princess Bride on my tattoo. So my whole back was supposed to be tattooed. This was years and years and years ago, obviously, because most of them are faded at this point. But I was going to get Cinderella's castle in the middle, like a castle in the middle. And then over on a hillside, over on the side was going to be the silhouette of Wesley and um, Buttercup over on the side. You know how they have, they're like sitting, they're like kind of holding each other and like he, he's standing there and then like she's got her hair, like long hair going down and they're like looking at each other like profile wise. That was what was going to be. This is not a good swatch because it's mixing with the lipstick. Let me see if I can find another spot here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Switching hands. We're going to put it over here. This is a liquid highlighter. It's really pretty. But yeah, so that was going to be on my back too. I was trying to fit everything in. So there you go. Um, Scientist in Makeup says, I can't use just one palette. I always end up using three or four palettes. And you know what? I feel like my looks come out prettier when I use different palettes. When I, get, when I can like confine myself to one palette, I feel like I'm not, like my looks aren't as pretty. But yeah, that's really, really pretty. It's like a champagne liquid highlighter. So if you like liquid highlighters, this one is, let me see how much it is. What is going on? 
I thought my whole thing was, I was losing my whole thing for a second. Um, it's $14.99, it comes in four shades. This one's called Pearlosity. <sighs> okay, more water, more water. All right, we've got three more things from Collab. This is the Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. I'm a little scared to try this because like I said, the other mascara that I got, which I think was the lengthening one, it's got a green stripe on it. Um, that one was really difficult to remove, but we're gonna give this one a try. Uh, this one is just called The Works. What does it do? Um, All-in-one effect mascara. It comes in three shades. It's $12.99, which is a little bit pricey for a drugstore mascara. I like my drugstore mascaras to be like eight bucks, like 10 bucks max for a drugstore mascara. Um, oh, the last unicorn. Uh, see my bliss so sewing? It's child of the 80s here. And so yes, the last unicorn. I should fit the last unicorn in there somewhere because I did watch that a lot as a kid. That one's a little creepy though. Like I always had trouble with the last unicorn. It's a little creepy. Like the creepy lady that's in it. She's really creepy. But the last unicorn was pretty amazing. The one tattoo that I have that no one's gonna get that I don't show anybody because it's like really close to my butt is um, the sea prince and the fire child. It was an anime cartoon that my dad rented for me that I was obsessed with. And then my dad copied it for me so that I could keep it. Cause back then you had to like copy the movies and it was like hard to find to buy. So he like copied it. So I had like a bootleg copy of, <laughs> I had a bootleg copy of, uh, of Sea Prince and Fire Child. And I loved that movie. It's like a Romeo and Juliet story, but like an anime thing. And it's really good. I won't tell you the whole story, but it's really good if you can ever get it and get your hands on it. So I have the sea prints on like my butt, like my hip, my butt. So anyway, let's show this mascara. This is why people don't like live chat. <laughs> it's because I go off on random tangents. This wand, I really like. I like wands like that where it's like bubbled out on one side and flat on the other side. I feel like it gives you options, you know? Michelle says, Jen, so many obsessed with this hat and glasses look on me. Oh, thank you. I like it too. It was like more like, okay, I brushed my hair. My hair looks flat and terrible. Let's just put a beanie on. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to try this formula. Let me see if it has like a terrible scent. Cause sometimes mascaras have terrible, strong scent. It just smells like a mascara, but it's not real strong. Chris says, Mama Fortuna was the creepy witch on the last uh, unicorn amazing novel. I haven't seen that movie in years. I should watch it again. Okay, so we've got two more products and they're both liners. So this is the Bold Face Liner Waterproof Eye Lining Pencil. And this is six shades and they're $8.99. So let's just kind of put it here. Feels very creamy. It's very black. Anna wants to know if I watch any anime. No, I don't watch any anime anymore. I had a neighbor when I was in college when I lived by myself. I had this little bottom floor single bedroom apartment. I paid $5.55 a month for this little apartment. It was what I was living in when I met John and my neighbor across the hall was really into anime. So he got me watching a couple of things, but I, ha I honestly I haven't watched anything since I moved out from there, you know, 15 years ago or whatever. Um, Diana says, I love the smell of fresh mascara. That is too funny. I'm not a big fan on that one, <laughs> but you know, everyone has their things that they like and that's what makes the world go around. Um, Ah, uh, Jamie, Jamie says The Last Unicorn's on Netflix. Really? Gina's talking about Grease. Grease Lightning. I didn't realize how dirty that movie was when I was a kid. Nicole's talking about The Breakfast Club. Yes. This is very creamy. It's very black, the eyeliner. Let's go back to makeup for a second. Ooh, it's not smudging. Look at this. I was expecting it to be super smudgy. Look at that. That's so weird. It's like not smudging. But yeah, do you ever, have you watched Grease as an adult and realized how dirty that movie is? Oh, it says twist. I'm like going like this, ooh, and it says twist on the <laughs> Twist, Jen. It says it right there. Okay, this is the Killer Cole Self-Sharpening Eye Pencil. I'll put that one right next to it. Man, these are so creamy. Weird science. Oh my gosh. I used to watch that when I was a kid too, which I had no business watching. I mean, they take a shower with her. 
I had no business watching these movies as a child. But that was a really good movie too. I used to watch that movie over and over. And that one, and what was it? Was it Real Science? It had um, Val Kilmer in it. Was it called Real Science? I think is what it was called. That one was really good too. I just remember like a giant vat of popcorn. It's like weird. I don't even remember anything else about that. Steph says, I've always been disturbed by the fact that Danny and Sandy don't land the car at the end of Greece. Like they just go flying into the sky like nothing. <laughs> That's a really good point. Nicole, hey, yay or nay, Nicole. Yay or nay, Nicole, by the way, you need to go check out her channel. Her channel is doing really, really well right now. She's got some great videos up. You should go check out yay or nay, Nicole. She's my good, good, good friend, and I'm so excited that her channel is doing very well right now. Real genius. Thank you, Elise. Thank you, real science. Real genius, yes. But I don't remember anything about that movie other than like this giant vat of popcorn. Thank you. Everybody's saying it. Oh, Cauliflower is here too. Uh, you should check out her channel too. C-H-O-L-Y. Flower. She's very real down to earth channel. By the way, I know this is off topic, but I'm just off topic all over the place like most chats. Let's see if this one, yeah, this one's not really smudging either. So if you like smudgy eyeliners, these are not for you. But if you like ones that dry down, they're creamy and then they just stay. That's so weird. Um, I'm working on a video where it's gonna be a video, a compilation. Remember the one that I did for people under, was it under 20,000 subscribers? I'm doing one for people that are under like 5,000 subscribers. Because if you don't know, the YouTube algorithm has changed, not algorithm, the YouTube rules have changed. Hold on, more water. And in order to be monetized, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time and you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. So I asked my Twitter for people to post their channels so that I could, um, you know, check out some channels and I found some really good channels. So I'm working on a video for that. Hopefully I'll feel better and be able to film. I do have two videos that I've already filmed that I just need to edit. So that would be like Friday's video if I can film it, if I'm not feeling too terrible. Um, uh, the other recommendation was cauliflower, C-H-O-L-Y and then flower. Just really good, and it's so funny because when I watch channels that have a smaller sub count, it really reminds me a lot of the way YouTube used to be, where it's like sitting there hanging out with like a buddy, you know, and just chat and make up, you know, and it just, it's been so enjoyable watching some of these smaller YouTube channels and just taking it back, you know, taking it back old school before it was, everything was all polished and perfect all the time. You know, it's just something, something real about the core of YouTube when we were all just with our crappy cameras, just sitting there, like just talking and just putting our heart out there, you know? And now like you have to be so careful with every single little thing you say and you have to be so perfect and you have to have perfect lighting and perfect background and perfect everything. Like it's just, it's lost that, hold on, of course I'm in the middle of a point and I feel like I'm going to puke. It's lost that, um, that broadcast yourself feel, you know, which was all YouTube was, was broadcast yourself. And now it's like hire a crew and an editor and broadcast <laughs> instead of broadcasting yourself. You know, like no one can really be themselves, I feel like anymore, because you have to be what people want you to be in order to have some kind of modicum of success on YouTube. And it's just like, you know, t these, these channels have really opened my eyes to a lot because I, you know, you know that there's good channels out there that are, you know, have lower subscriber counts, but you don't really realize until you start digging. So, um, definitely keep an eye out for that video. If it doesn't come out this week, if I'm too sick to film, it'll definitely be the next week because I already have picked 10 channels to highlight. Um, so if you're watching this on the replay, I've already picked my 10 channels that I'm going to highlight, but I do want to do it again in the future. So um, for that particular video, I'm going to open up the comments and just say, just post your channels. Everybody just post your channels on that video so we can all find new channels. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that video, um, but I've already picked the 10 channels. So I don't want to like make people think like I, I, I'm, def um, I'm definitely going to be checking out more smaller channels. Just I want to focus on the ones that I've got. And I want to make sure because I haven't checked out a lot of videos from the channels I'm going to talk to you guys about. So I want to spend more time on their channels, watching more of their content to make sure that I'm 
recommending somebody that's good for you because like I've seen like the backlash of you know when somebody associates with someone and it turns out they're a cruddy person and it's like but I only met them one time and you're thinking that we're like best friends or something you know like I don't know I want to make sure we've got some really good people I mean there's no real way to know after watching a couple of some of these videos what kind of person they are but I want to do more research into these people make sure I'm giving you some good channels to watch So, um, but anyway, that was all the stuff I wanted to show you. That's all the PR stuff that I got. Um, but yeah, I'm like really excited about some of this stuff. I want to bring some of this stuff back. Um, most likely a lot of this is, oh wait, no, I had one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, but most likely a lot of this stuff hopefully will come back at least in favorites and fails, if not in a full video review. It's just like I was saying, my videos are so labor intensive. I have to make sure I'm really picking and choosing what I'm dedicating my time to for a full video. You know what I mean? If I could just throw videos up like I used to back in, you know, 20, 2006, then, you know, I could put up a lot more content. But Susan says Makeup Struggles is awesome. Yeah, she was in my video for, um, for, uh, I'm losing it, for channels under 20,000. She was in that. She was in that recommendation along with Georgia Harris, who I don't know if she's still here. But Georgia and I have been talking a lot offline, uh, online, but off of YouTube, and she's amazing. Mimi says everyone tell Jen to go rest. It's okay. I can do it. It's it's 14 minutes. I've got this. Thank you so much Mimi, but I, I can do it. I can do it. Lemon water in your bottle. I should go put some lemon water. I do have some lemon juice downstairs. Okay, this is one that I really want to do a full video on because I think these are super cool. This is a brand called Lubella and they sent these to me for review. They asked if they could send them to me and I don't normally review things like this, but these things were so cool um so there's a bunch of brands like this on amazon they do sell on amazon and what it is is it's like a little makeup kit so they have three different sizes they sent me all the sizes but i'm just going to show you the smallest one just because the other ones are really big this is the smallest one so you can adjust these right here you can take these out and adjust where you want to put the little things it's almost like my husband looked at it he's like, it looks kind of like a camera case. Um, and then here is where you could store like an eyeshadow palette and this zipper. But I wanna like measure up like what you can fit in each one before I do a full review. Um, and then here is where you put your brushes. So I really like this. I mean, this is really crunchy and cheap feeling, but, um, but this feels like, like legit down here. Oh, Shelby says, I've fallen in love with Georgia Harris. I can rewatch her vids all the time. I know. I really like her, too. She just seems like an awesome person. You know what I mean? Like, when you start talking to people, <laughs> Michelle says, yes, real lemon, Jen. I don't think I have a real lemon. I think I just have fake lemon. Not fake lemon juice, but lemon juice. Oh, Crystal is here. It's Crystal. That's another one. Oh, oh I love her channel. She's so good. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Crystal doesn't like me very much, even though I know she does. She's just to the point, man. She doesn't mess around. It's Crystal with an exclamation point. She's so soft and sweet and like beautiful. And her makeup looks are sick. They're so good. They're like nice, beautiful looks. They're not like Instagram-y, sharp, like, you know, bold craziness. They're like these beautiful, soft, gorgeous looks. It's Crystal, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. There's no H, Crystal. But she has got some sass in her. Oh my gosh, like. I wouldn't want to mess with her. I would be scared if she yelled at me. I love Crystal though. When Crystal isn't happy with me, I get really, really sad. <laughs> Cause I just respect her so much, so much respect to her. Okay, so anyway, there we go, right here. So these, these pull out and then you can put your brushes in. And so far, I mean, I just got it. So far it seems really nice. I mean, this is like, Hardcore. This is by a brand called Lubella, L-I-U-B-E-L-L-A. And none of these are sponsored, by the way. These are just, you know, if I feel like there's something, like these, I saw these and I was like, I think people would really like these. I'm just gonna hold up the other sizes. This is the small, and then this is the, like I said, I wanna do a full video. This is the medium. So you can see like kind of how big that is. Hopefully it's all in frame. Um, and then this one is the large. And I was thinking like, when I had a really, lived in a really tiny house, this is the large, and they've got handles at the top, like that. Um, this one's got a pocket in the back, which is kind of cool. Like for, like if you were a makeup artist and you were, you know, were putting like directions to where you were going or something like that, like right here would be super cool. Um, 
but yeah, that's the large, but I was gonna fill this up with makeup anyway. Um, I was thinking like when I was living in a really, uh, like the house that I, we had bought before we moved here, we had a really, really small bathroom and I had a lot of trouble doing my makeup in the bathroom because my bathroom was just so small. But if I could have taken my makeup, put it in something like this, that would like, like almost like, how, you know how people do like everyday makeup drawers? I think Cauliflower does them. Um, but everyday makeup drawers, like I could put like my makeup in this and carry it into the bathroom so that I wouldn't have to like, you know, cause I usually just put it in a, I used to put it in like, in like a bag and I felt like, you know, I couldn't find what I wanted, but I feel like something like this, I could find what I wanted a lot easier. So, um, so that was kind of why those caught my eye and I was like, yeah, like I don't usually talk about stuff like that, but, uh, Michelle says, is it it's to slip into a, onto a suitcase handle. Yes, you know what? I think you're right. It is to slip onto a suitcase handle. Oh, you're right, it's not a pocket in the back. You're right, it goes all the way through. Thank you so much for saying that. Yes, Jenny, L-I-U-B-E-L-L-A. It's not a pocket, it's a, it's a suitcase thing. Yeah, Alana says the same thing. Thank you for saying that because I don't wanna put out information that's not right. But that would've been cool if it was like a, um, if it was like a pocket on the back, but it's not. I don't know. I personally wouldn't put these outside of a suitcase. That would scare me. I mean, I guess it would probably be fine, but like my makeup, my makeup, I'd be scared that it would get all beat up. Oh, Julie says Jessica Braun does the everyday makeup drawer. That is very true. Crystal says, I need a sarcasm button so people can see I'm saying things tongue in cheek. I know, Crystal. I know. And you've told me this, but I still like, get all like, Crystal doesn't like me. <laughs> It's just because I have so much respect for you. And I think that's why I take it personal. But you know, I adore you. Okay, Jennifer says that case would be awesome for me. I'm going to look it up. Cool, man. And like, like I said, I do want to do like a full, like what can you fit into these things video. Um, Tish says, I never knew what that, thing, what that thing was for. I always wonder why they made pockets without a bottom, derp. <laughs> Yeah, this well, like this one doesn't have it. I think it's only on the big one. No, it's on the it's on the medium as well, but it's not on the small. Uh, Joanne says it looks like that could be a great carry on case for makeup when you have to fly. Yes. The only thing is, is with carry on though, you can you can't bring liquid, so you'd have to just be really careful and make sure you only put your powder in there. Um, MSA Case Spain says I have an everyday makeup mess. Does that count? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Nicole says, I try to carry my palettes on my rolly bag. Yes, me too. Whenever I have any powder products, I do try to carry those on. That's a really good point. Yep. Crystal says, we'll bond in person one of these days. That would be amazing to like sit down with Crystal and like have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something with Crystal. Like that would be amazing. I would love that. Vanessa wants to know if it comes in other colors. I don't think so. I think it just comes in the brown. And it's like a, they call it like a vegan leather, but it really doesn't really look much like leather in person. It looks more like a mix between like leather and canvas. It's like a shiny canvas. I wouldn't say this looks like a vegan leather, like the way that I've seen vegan leather before, where it, it honestly to me doesn't look very leather-like. It's more, um, it's more uh, like canvasy, like shiny canvas. Um, <laughs> Jenny says, what's the name of the makeup case? Lou Bella, L-I-U-B-E-L-L-A. That's got the little logo there. So, um, what else is going on? Um, oh, the medium is $39.77. Yeah, I'll have to come back and try to put some of this stuff in the video description. I always forget, especially like today. Like, I don't know. I think I, I just want to like go into a hole. I just want to like curl up. I brought my blanket in here just in case, in case I start getting cold. Actually, I think I'm going to put it on. Even though I'm under these lights, usually I'm like sweating under these lights, but I'm all like, Burr. this is my Iceland blanket. It's got pictures from our trip to Iceland that I never finished the vlogs, but I don't know if you can see. It's got our pictures. I'm just going to put it on my lap. It's so soft. My husband bought it for me. Um, Decorated sheds, a canvas might hold, might hold up better than the cheap vinyl imitation leather. Um, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. And it won't scratch as easily either. Like I feel like the, the real um, vegan leather stuff will scratch really easily and leave marks where this doesn't, it's, there's, that's not going to happen. It doesn't look like something that can be scratched and damaged very easily. Um, so 
Linda says the price is not that bad. Yeah, I didn't think so either. I thought they looked pretty affordable. Um, affordable. I hate that word. Why did I just use that word? They look pretty, they looked less expensive. See, I even catch myself sometimes. They look less expensive than other similar products. Yes, there we go. Angie put the prices up. Small is $29.77, medium is $39.77, and the large is $49.77, which I think is very reasonable for what you get. Um, <laughs> Michelle says, vegan leather, it's pleather. I know, right? <laughs> it is, it is kind of. Julie says she just got subscribed to It's Crystal. You should, because honestly, I adore, I really love her videos. She's no nonsense, man. She just tells it like it is, and I love that. I love it. Tiffany says makeup should be on carry. Um, wait, makeup should only be carry. I'm not sure what you're trying to say, Tiffany. I'm sorry. Uh, Flory says, I hope you don't have a fever. I don't know. I can never tell on myself. With my kids, I just have to kiss their heads, and I know that they, they um, why am I drinking coffee? I need to drink water. Um, I just kiss their heads, and I know that they have a fever. Like, I can tell. I can, like, I can tell their temperature. Like, my friend, my best friend, Mary Lynn, she does that with her pool. Like, she just, she sticks her hand in her pool, and she knows what temperature it is. And I'm with my kids. Like, I can kiss their heads, and I know what their temperature is. Oh, Cauliflower just subscribed to Nicole and Crystal. Yay. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. There are so many good people on YouTube that just get buried in the madness. I mean, there's really, like, when I first started on YouTube in 2012, well, first started this channel in 2012, like, it was hard to get subscribers. I think now it's even harder. Even if you have a legit good channel, it's really hard to get people to even see your stuff. You know, even if your, um, even if your channel, you have good watch time, your subscribers love you, you get lots of engagement, like you still don't pump, you don't still don't bump up to the top. Like it's, it's really, the stack is, is just against you as far as getting out there. And the thing is, is, is if I feel like I found a channel that I think that you're going to enjoy and get something from, I want to be able to share that with you because, you know, that's what, that's what my channel, I want it to be about is giving you information that'll help make your life better you know whether it's about products whether it's other channels to watch things like that Sarah hi Sarah Sarah says Lauren May is a new favorite for me I love Lauren May Beauty she comes up with the if you're a YouTube if you have a YouTube channel and you don't know what videos to film and you don't have a lot of money check out Lauren May Beauty and just like steal her ideas and give her credit because she has some of the best ideas for videos that are like basically free <laughs> you know she uses her what she already has and she comes up with ideas of how to make videos based on what she's got you know oh speaking of that i meant to mention this in the beginning i was on uh beauty in the vlog again uh beauty in the vlog is a podcast for beauty video creators um beauty fashion fitness lifestyle uh youtube creators helping them to grow their channel and um it's it's i did a uh an interview about the YouTube ad apocalypse and what's going on with monetization and everything. We filmed, we uh, recorded it a couple weeks ago, so that was before they did the new regulations. But still, a lot of really good information in there. Um, if you're curious about that, it's just beauty in the vlog. I have it linked under what's been makeup this week. Um, if you want an actual link to it, but it's a really good interview. Erica and I really flow very well because now that we're friends, we flow very well together. So. Um, Susan says, Lauren May is a rock star. I agree. Oh my gosh, I to totally agree. Coffee and makeup, please, says, who? Crap, I just was changing the baby. I was talking about Lauren May Beauty. Um, Patricia Bright, that's another really good one. Mama Shauna says, yeah, she's really, really good. Totally agree. Totally agree. Joanne says, Dr. Dre for skincare. Yes. Yes. Um, Crystal says, now people like Lauren May are leading a return to genuineness and quality. Totally agree. Uh, Tabitha says, Matthew Calvillo. This chat is moderated. Oh, she's talk talking to somebody else. I thought that you, I thought you were recommending a channel, Tabitha. <laughs> I did not mean to <laughs> shout out someone that Tabitha was not happy with. I don't know if you weren't happy with him or not, but. Um, Julie says, I still think that a monthly who's who for, uh, for YouTube for you would be a great series. I think so too. I don't want to commit to like a specific amount of time just because I don't know. I don't like to commit to things because then if something falls through, then I feel really bad. Like I'm just not good at that stuff. So 
Nicole says Erica viewing the vlog is the best. I agree. I agree. Um, but yeah, I hate, I hate, I like, I took me forever to commit to a schedule of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, for like other uploads other than what's up in makeup. Like it was hard for me to commit to just doing what's up in makeup every Sunday for a while. But I think definitely occasionally I should do videos like that, even if they're not monthly, like just when I feel like I need to do that. Um, so, I mean, I spent hours watching these channels and just really enjoyed it. All right. Samantha March. Yes. Oh, oh, I love Samantha. I love Samantha March. She is so beautiful and so sweet. And she's got books. She's an author. She writes books, Samantha March. I don't know if you knew that or not, but Samantha March writes books. And supposedly, they're amazing. Um, if you search for Samantha March on Amazon, you should be able to find her books. Just super cool. Um, oh, Joanne wanted me to spell, or at least she's spelling Dr. Dre as D-R-A-Y. Not Dr. Dre like the, the singer or Dr. Dre the psychologist guy. <laughs> There's lots of Dr. Dre's. All right, I'm going to pop off here. Um, I'm going to go curl up with my Iceland blanket. And I'm going to switch from coffee to tea. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. One Beauty Addict, that's another good channel so many good channels out there, man. There's so much to watch on YouTube. So much good stuff. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys don't get sick. I, I, I wish I wasn't, but I am. But I hope you don't. I hope you stay well wherever you are. And mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Um, this week, I have recorded expensive beauty tools that, and whether they're worth the money or not, like really mad expensive, stupid expensive beauty tools. And then I have, um, what was the other one? It's like favorites. What is it? Oh, it's my updated ride or die beauty tag. And whether I still think that stuff is my ride or die or not. That's what I have coming up next. Because that video is almost done edited. That was the one that was supposed to go up instead of the Tarte Shape Tape video that I put up. That was the one. So it's almost done. I've got like maybe a couple hours left to edit on that one. So that one should probably be done hopefully tomorrow. For tomorrow. For tomorrow's video so i hope you guys are doing well and my love to you again i think i already said that <laughs> i'm a mess all right guys i will see you again sometime very very soon hopefully all right bye